Chef Diamond here. Day two, Saratoga Springs, Disney World. Today, um, yesterday was Epcot and I did some vlogging and I'm trying to mesh it all together, but uh, it's a little rough. So uh, just bear with me. So today is going to be um, packet pickup day to get my race number, all my goodies that I need for the race, and then they're gonna have a huge expo and probably pick up some um, running gear uh, to add to my collection. So, and then we are gonna go back to Disney Springs since I decided to have a beer night and not go shopping, and we're going to go shopping today. Thank you everybody for watching my little vlog and my new subscribers, I made 150. Yes, I'm so excited. All right guys, I'm gonna let you go and I will see you at the expo. All right. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, you guys. I am waiting for the bus to take me to the Expo Center. Look at this beauty. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, fellow. Okay, he sees me. He's like, yeah, take a picture of me. All right, guys. I'll see you at the Expo. The bus is on its way. See you. Okay guys, we are on the bus heading to the expo. There's my husband beside me. Say hi. Oh, we just got some good news too. He works for the, uh, okay, can't say. It's top secret. All right, so he made a promotion, so that's all I get to say. So anyways, I will see you at the expo. This is gonna be a fantastic bus ride. And let's see if you can see a little on the other side. Oh, there goes my fingers in the way. Yep. Here we go. All right, there's a nice bus driver. So we will be leaving shortly, and I'll see you at the expo. All right, entering the expo. So um, there is a sea of people here. There is, I believe, thirty to 40,000 runners this weekend, guys. So um, yeah, it's gonna be busy. All right, see ya. Hey guys, so this is the expo. So after you get your number and then you have to go get your short and then they have all kinds of running gear down here. And it's not so bad today. Usually this place is like packed, crowded. Uh, Jeff Galloway is down there giving autographs on his book. I do have his book, but uh, didn't want to purchase another one. Um, but he is a marathon runner and gold medalist. So uh, if you've ever heard of him before, focus camera. Um, also picked up two running skirts um, that have pockets on the sides and some super energy gels and blockers for the run. And now my husband is going to get a pretzel. He always gets a pretzel when he comes here. So, okay. We're almost there, one more day. Gonna do 10 miles tomorrow around the resort and I will try, try to get a map of the resort. And um, I will catch you guys either some a little bit tomorrow. Um, maybe I can vlog a little bit with my son. I don't know how they'll feel, got to get their permission. But anyways, um, we're gonna head back to the resort now. So, too much going on. And uh, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Okay, so I'm at the T-Rex for lunch today, and they have all kinds of animals. And look, this one's gonna talk. He doesn't like me at all. Come on, dude, talk to me, talk to me. Oh, here he comes. This is its baby right here. With his mama. Now he doesn't wanna talk. Oh, there it goes. He's gonna, he's gonna yell at my husband. He's gonna eat him for lunch. And then they have jellyfish on the hanging. Really kind of neat. So it's quite crowded here today. Um, I ran four miles today. I did pretty good. So 26.2 is looking pretty good. And uh, did some shopping. Gonna make sure I eat my carbs and my pasta. And everything's like in a little cave here. All right, guys, I haven't vlogged all day just because I forgot been having to, so much fun. All right, bye.
wants to eat Joe for lunch. Ha 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 ha. Uh oh, it's getting really dark in here. I think there's going to be some type of a rainforest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to rain in here. Oh my gosh, look at the ceiling. Is that amazing or what? Hey guys, Crafty Chef Diamond here. So I didn't do much vlogging today just because I was out and about and sometimes you just forget. And I had to turn off all my notifications so I can save my battery um, because I'll be running three apps while I'm running tomorrow. Um, a timekeeper app, a running app, and of course I'm going to listen to some hard rock music. Uh, I did a four mile run today. My pace was really good so I am basically four minutes and 60 seconds ahead of the balloon fairies. If you don't know what a balloon fairy is, uh, because I've been sick uh, and I didn't know if I was gonna make this run or not, um, but I am going to give it a good try. Uh, I have to be away from the balloon fairies because if they catch up to me, that means they sack me and then they put me on a bus and I'm done. Or if I um, have a a problem during the race and I go to the next aid station and then they will bust me in but anyways um, I if you've watched some of my videos you know that this race is dedicated to my sweet I call her a little girl Sarah passed away on President's Day last year February and we were planning this race together we were supposed to do the dopey but it didn't turn out that way um, she passed away and I was able to get into just the full marathon, which is a 26.2 miler. But this race is dedicated to her and Sarah was on, actually she went on four races with me and I would push her, it, we would be in the handicap um, part of the marathon and I would push her in a huge adult stroller because she was always on oxygen. She had a lot of, a lot of issues and um, she was supposed to be on this run, and of course, she lost her life. Um, Sarah was 28 years old. I call her my little girl because she's just my little girl, and we've done a lot together. And um, so um, I'm sharing this with you guys because um, our last time that we were here at Disney, that we did a run together, uh, we did the Wine and Dine, which was uh, a 10K marathon on a Saturday and a um, half marathon on Sunday. This was our last run together. Uh, last the last time I was here so anyways um, this one this run is dedicated to her and I got this for her the last time that we were here at Disney and I'll be wearing this for Sarah tomorrow and her mother knows I'm running for her and um, she was a huge part of my life and so this run is for her and her spirit is going to be with me and um, I'm just uh, I know I'm going to do fine. The Lord is going to get me all the way through and bring me the wings that I need for her and for me to complete this, this run. So anyways, now it is time to prepare tonight. I've hydrated all day. I've eaten right. I've had some um, Alfredo with the sauce on the side. Very little sauce, very bland food with chicken. Um, and uh, now it's time to load my packs, my pack up with uh, to hydrate my hydrate pack that I wear, and get all my gel blocks ready to go. Get my clothes all out. I have to be at the start at the bus station at um, three thirty in the morning, so I need to get to bed really early. And um, and my family's going to meet me at the end. So um, I'm going to while I'm in my Corral. I'm in Corral D, which is not as far back at the end of the bus. I think G is the last corral for the day uh, that they let loose. So I think the race starts at 5 a.m. And I think maybe by 6.30 I will be officially on the road 
and be in track at that time. So um, I'm giving myself hopefully like five hours to complete this and um, I will see if I can videotape a little bit early in the morning with all the people. There is probably 30,000 people running tomorrow and because um, it's the end of the dopey race as well and the goofy. Uh, the goofy race is you run a half marathon today and a full marathon tomorrow. Dopey was you run a 5k, a 10k, the half and then the full which I'm just doing the full. So um, I will see you guys in the morning and hopefully I can get uh, a nice video of the fireworks that I'm going to be go uh, going under as the race starts. Okay, stay sweet everybody and I'll see you after 26.2 or right before the race. All right, love you all and uh, talk to you soon.